get here to give you guys a video on Twitch TV and spam bots. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but spam bots are running wild on Twitch TV. That's where you see someone come in and say, hey, check out this, and it'll be like a, a, a google.gl link or like some really weird short like link.com, or you should get, uh, I can't see your stream, check this out, yada, yada, yada. Anything with a link from a username you never see in your channel, they don't actually say hi. It's, it's not a real person, it's a spam bot. It's a bot that people randomly join a whole bunch of low-end channels for people they think are not smart enough to click on their link and get infected with either a keylogger, a virus, malware, botnet, something bad. Usually, uh, It's usually keyloggers, because the keyloggers are really running amok. You click on it, you run it, a lot of times they can infect your computer even if you have a good antivirus on your machine. So be really careful about the ongoing spams that going on. There are some tools in place if you're a live streamer on Twitch that you can help you from clicking on this in your own personal channel. As a viewer though, you be really careful when you're in someone's stream to not click on links guys. Just don't do it. It's not smart. If you're going to click on links, you can do like, you, if you have like, there's a tool called uh, Sandboxy. You can right click and hit open the link in a sandbox URL. So it wouldn't necessarily affect your machine, but not a lot of people are going to be doing that. So I recommend just not clicking the links unless you're on like a virtual machine. If you really want to click a link, I'd recommend downloading VirtualBox and opening it in VirtualBox and restoring it. Infect that machine, who cares? But anyway, so you have two tools. You have your Nightbot and your Moobot, which are both great tools for preventing people from spamming. It's really easy to use. Uh, I actually like the Moobot spam filter, super easy. You can just uh, turn it on. So links, remove messages containing links you haven't whitelisted. All, this is off by default. So if you guys want to install um, Moobot, M-O-M-B-O-T, and you just join it to your channel, you make it a moderator, and you just set the links on. You can whitelist um, certain things, but I'd recommend uh, allowing exclude regulars. I would just exclude everyone. Uh, regulars are people who have been in your channel for a long time, but you can set it to like your moderators can allow links, people you trust. But I would definitely not allow people to link stuff, period. So when they link something, they automatically get timed out. So people are less likely to click on the link. So definitely add Modbot and Nightbot. And to check to see if they're added in your channel, you just got to go to your uh, moderator list. I'm not even live right now. I'm just recording a video. So you see yourself, and you'll see Modbot and Nightbot. And when you click on them, you want to make sure that they're OP, that they're, they're um, these are already moderators. That's how you moderate someone. You can can right click and chat slash mod or you can click on their username and hit OP user. So you want to make sure that they're both moderators in your channel, OP user. And you can also check here, it will say join, it will say, like, oh it's already, I'm already in your channel, no need to make me join again. So and it will keep your event log and again Nightbot has the same type of thing, link protection, spam protection. So you just enable it, set up your blacklist, you can do protections. I'd highly recommend running both. I really would just just to make sure that if the spam bots are coming in posting links that they get timed out in your channel. Be really careful guys about these spam bots. It's the problem with this is it's probably never going to stop just because a lot of Twitch's chat is IRC based and it's very easy to make programs that just mass join people's channels and spam whatever this, these people want and there's so many people doing it. Also another thing people are doing is with the giveaways, you know, they have like you know, 20, 30, 40 accounts, and they're just saying, oh, let me type this word giveaway. They'll all spam the message and try to win stuff. So if you're only trying to grow your viewership by giveaways, you want to make sure that it's not spam bots winning your giveaways. But the, the prominent problem that we're looking at right now is the spam bots. So if you guys are live streamers on Twitch TV, use Nightbot, use Modbot, you know, use ANK Bot. Just make sure you guys are enabling that spam protection. Don't let people post links, period, period. Don't do it. Oh, but I really would no. Don't. You don't do it. You don't do it. Links? Uh no. On. Not allowed. Remove messages containing links you have on my list. On. Always on. Very important. So that's the whole point of this video to watch out, keep yourself safe, and have fun, guys. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.